I feel thankful for learning to do my own but I don't know to me. I feel What do you feel thankful about being donated water? Uh, I feel thankful for doing my own sending this water. Okay. You like what having water in the school? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think that since Harpoon Water and Harpoon River has been contaminated by lead poisoning, I'm very thankful for water being donated to the school. And really, some people who are affected by lead poisoning, it's, it's actually not fair for them. Because Yeah. Hi, my name is Rashidi Davis. I am a senior in North Eastern High School. Um, the water helps us do a lot of stuff because of the water that is in our faucet. We can't cook with it. The only thing we can do is like wash our clothes and bathe with it. So the water that's being donated to us that helps us uh, drink and cook with. So uh, I'm very thankful about the water being donated to us because if we didn't have the water, we'd be very thirsty at school and get tired of the I am Corey Edwards. I'm attending Northwestern High School. I'm a junior. Um, how I feel about the water, I feel, I'd like to thank um, all the celebrities that donated water to the schools and, you know, Flint in general, um, it helped us a lot here. We don't really have to drink out the faucets, you know, they shut off, so. My name is Michaela Allen, I am senior class of Victorian at Flint Northwestern, and I just want to thank all those people that donated water to not only Flint Northwestern, but to Flint as a city in general. And for the most part, it affected Northwestern. It affected mostly, I would say, the athletes. Since I am an athlete, we're not able to, you know, go to the water fountains and get water when we're tired and when we're thirsty. And since so many people donated water to Northwestern, it enabled the athletes to have drinking water that's available to them. My name is Jalen Baxter. I'm a senior at Flint Northwestern High School. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who donated water here to our schools and to everyone at home because it's helpful to us because we don't have clean drinking water and the bottled water is really helpful on hot days such as this when it helps to cool us down. And then it also helps at home because some people don't have, you know, water at home and it helps to cook with, clean with, bathe with. So I just want to say thank you for giving, providing us with clean water. I am thankful for water, and water is good for us, because the nutrients that water is the nice to sink. We're going to probably go and have to go to the um, doctor. What's your name? My name is
Well, actually, everybody else has donated around the world. Go ahead. Um, I think that it's a good thing that we have water so, like, kids can stay hydrated and healthy because when sometimes we go outside, some kids be hot and have issues. And people care about our school. I very thank you because we need this water. I know we have been going through tough times in life. In thank you. In your name? My name is Cassandra Gilman. Calista Williams and I do live in Flint, Michigan. I live on the north side of Flint. And the Flint water crisis, to me personally, I don't blame anybody because it's not really their fault that our water is bad. It was more of like all the chemicals and waste that's like been driven into the water. And I am grateful for all the people who donated to us because it helped, helped us a lot, whereas we have saved drinking water. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, my name is Joshua Redford, and I live in Flint, Michigan as well, on the north side. And, um, the water crisis, like, what I think about it, I think um, Governor Snyder or whoever did it, they need to be held responsible because it's contaminating us and our kids, which are our future. And like I do, I would like to thank everyone who donated the water because it's been a big help for us and helping us. I'm Jerry Smith. And I'm, I'm very thankful for the days resources given to us, especially like water and filters by the various organizations out there. During our water crisis, it has affected my family very much, especially with finances and stuff like that. I just want to let, I don't know, I'm very thankful. And i just like to say the water crisis has been a very big, uh, just a big deal in my life. I live downtown and there's a lot of churches around there, so everywhere I go they're always giving out water. And uh, at Michigan Youth and Government, uh, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, 700 stu some students there, but we were the highlight. The we, they had the spotlight on us, and there were always kids coming up and asking, "Oh, how's it like there?" And things like that. So it's just had a big impact on our lives. Um, I like to say I'm really thankful for all the donations to the school and donation um, water given to our house. I drink about a gallon of water a day because I'm an athlete, and it's just a really big um, necessity especially being an athlete after practice. It's just great to come outside and have water out set for us. So I'm very thankful for all that. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Brianna, and thank you for the water that been donated, and we really need it because there's, a, there's lead in our water, and there's nothing else for us to drink but the bottles of water. Hi, my name's Jaden. Thank you for the water. Now we have safe drinking water to drink at school. Okay, thank you for giving the water. This water has killed a lot of kids from getting on the foot lead. My name is Alia Lamont. And hello, my name is Olivia Pearson. We would just like to say thank you for all the donations. All the water that people all have donated to help people all over Flint. Also, thank you for the Army for taking all of the time off to help. Give out water to people in need. Also, for the people who would buy the water and give the water to the homeless. Also, for the filters for people in homes. homes. Once, Once again, again thank, thank you. you. No, everybody's sitting down. Only one will come through. Like, you know how to do it? The next one will come down the stairs. And when that one gets back, the next one will come down the stairs. And so on and so forth. Yeah. You understand that? Well, you can go to the bottom. Well, we're going to be heading out when we're done. When we're going inside. This way, perfect. And when do we leave inside? We need you to all hold your side. Good job, shoulder to shoulder. We need everybody back, shoulder to shoulder. Keep your sides down with your chest. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to give him the cue to do a strong kind of thing. Charlie, you want to be in on this? You want to be in on this? We're going to. Okay, guys, on the count of three, we're all going to say we are Flint strong. One, two, three. Okay, on the count of three, we're all going to say we are Flint strong with loudness, with pride, just like we do Go Dragons in the morning. You guys ready? We are Flint strong. One, two, Three.
Hi, my name is Cheyenne. Thank you guys for all the water that you guys have donated. It really helps us instead of having to drink lead tainted water, which could end up with us being special needs, which is not a good thing. It has changed the life of a lot of kids that have been getting rashes. It is really nice of you. Thank you. My name is Tatiana. Thank you for all the water and things that you have donated to us. It really helps us because Jesus, it helps us because we don't so we don't have to drink the wet water and uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and thank you very much for all the water you've donated. And the reason that I love that you guys donate the water is because the water over here is very, very poisonous with high levels of lead that can that could perhaps kill people. So thank you very much. And if there was a way we could repay you, I wish there was. And if you guys have a problem, we will pay you back by donating to you.